praise the Lord, mightiest prophet of the Lord. Amen. Well, uh, the Lord Jehovah Elohim, the Jehovah Elion, the Most High, He spoke with me this past night. And the Lord spoke with me about a very, very severe earthquake coming to Australia. And He took me to Australia. And uh, again, I saw a building that is cracked. The pillars were cracked. I don't know how the water came through, but there was also a lot of water on that building. In fact, that only then the water drained, but there was a lot of damage on uh, on the building. You know, there was a building there that the Lord took me to, and the building around there. So there is a tremendous historic earthquake that is coming to Australia. There is an earthquake that is coming to Australia, and the Lord is asking that the people in the nation of Australia repent and turn away from sin. I also saw, I see from here now, even now as I speak, I see uh, people running, people running everywhere. There is a baby. I think the both hands are hit. The baby was hit and both hands have been cut off. Uh, the baby is without hands. And then I see a lot of people running downstairs. And then the elevators are damaged. They have been banged. So people are running. The Lord made me try to enter the elevators. But uh, we people are running. He said, please don't enter because if the doors have been banged and many people have been locked in elevators between the walls, within the walls. So there is a tremendous judgment of the Lord that is coming to Australia. The historic judgment of Jehovah is finally coming down south to Australia. And the Lord is asking the church of Australia to repent. To repent and have reverence. Reverence unto the Lord and his servants. His servants. Again, reverence unto the Lord and righteousness. And reverence unto the Lord and His servant. The voice that is preparing the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. So I see a historic earthquake coming to Australia. The Lord has taken me to Australia today and showed me a lot of running. And then downstairs, I saw a lot of people are meeting there. And then uh, a lot of water also came. That means it spanned up the tsunami that I saw. The tsunami is coming, a big tsunami. Is coming also because of the earthquake. I do not know that the earthquake will be in the sea, but it shakes the building very, very violently because I see the tsunami. I see the first wave arrives on me, so I run away. I literally run away. The first wave arrives on me, and then the Lord says, Look, the other bigger wave is coming. And I see a lot of people that were in, in shore, inside there. They, they, they were swallowed by that wave as the wave was coming. They were drowned. So there is a tremendous historic judgment of the earthquake of the Lord that is coming to Australia. He's going to shake Australia. He's going to cause them to fear the Lord. Finally, Australia will fear the Lord. For the first time now, they'll fear Jehovah. And they'll submit very squarely to the voice that is calling out in the wilderness. They will understand the gravity and the veracity of this hour to prepare for the coming of the Messiah. Again, this morning, the Lord has taken me to Australia. I've seen a tremendous earthquake. The damaged people are running. He put me in there. I was running for my life, essentially. I was literally fleeing, running for my life. And then when I shook the pillars, the pillars were shaking. So the water drained off that had covered and filled certain residents. The baby here that has been hurt. There's a big situation coming to Australia and probably the entire of that southern region. So the Lord is shaking that part of the earth that he may bring down the mountains in the hearts of men, that he may prepare Australia and those nations around there for the glorious coming of the Messiah. The book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 7, he says, there would be famines and earthquakes in various places even before the coming of the dreadful day of the return of the Christ, the return of the Messiah. This is he about whom the Bible wrote, Scriptures wrote that I will send the dreadful prophet who will turn the hearts of all the children back to their father. The hearts of the nations back to Jehovah our Father. Shalom. May the Lord bless you. Amen. 